Hi, my name is Dr Wakeley. I'm a GP working for the NHS and I also specialise in dermatology. I also have a company called The Beauty Doctor which specialises in cosmetic treatments and dermatological treatments as well. So I'm here to help you talk about age spots. Um, generally speaking, they're basically uniform flat patches of skin. They look a bit like large freckles and their official name is Solar Lentigo. Um, very, very important though, not to confuse them with suspicious looking lesions. So they must be uniform if they itch or painful or ulcerate or scab without healing or enlarge or have an uh, uneven pigmentation. If you're worried at all, you must see your GP before just assuming that they are age spots. Um, they usually occur on the face and on the um, arms and legs. So there are various ways of treating the age spots, you need to basically reduce the melanin activity in the melanin containing cells in the body. So that's what's producing the brownness of the skin. So you can use um, various creams uh, which contain Retin-A or vitamin A based creams um, such as azelaic acid um, and uh, hydroquinone and kojic acid, vitamin C. Those are all creams that reduce the melanin activity of the skin cells. Um, kojic acid it works quite well because it's less irritating than the vitamin A based creams and, or hydroquinone and you can use that long term. Um, I use a cream called Blending Bleaching Cream by Skin Tech which has got kojic acid in it and vitamin A and the kojic acid helps reduce the potential irritation caused by the vitamin A so you don't get irritation with that, with that cream at all. Um, and that works very well. You can just use it as a moisturiser and also the Retin-A has an anti-aging effect as well. But you do need to use uh, an SPF to help prevent the sunspots from getting worse because after all the reason you've got sunspots is because of sun damage and, and age. And especially if you're using hydroquinone or, or just a pure vitamin A based cream, um, that in, increases your sensitivity to the sun and can cause, they can cause some irritation. So SPF is, is very important. With Retin-A or vitamin A based creams, you need to be careful that you're not pregnant or planning a pregnancy because they can cause developmental disorders of the baby. And with hydroquinone, you need to not use it for long periods of time. You can use it for about a maximum of two to three months and then have about a month or so break before starting up again. Also you can use very gentle acid peels. Um, mandelac acid is quite a gentle, similar to fruit acid, just slightly stronger. It doesn't cause peeling at all. Um, and that comes with a, a scrub as well, which helps lighten the age spots. And then you can use very mild alpha hydroxy acid peels such as glycolic acid which again they don't peel they just make your skin go a little bit red um, but again lighten this, this, this sunspots. You can use very strong peels such as TCA peels or slightly stronger which will cause you to peel however you must be careful if you're darker skinned because they can make uh, the sunspots worse or, or cause different areas of darker pigmentation to come up in the skin. And then you can also have laser treatment as well to try and lighten the spots. If the sunspots are very small, you can freeze them using liquid nitrogen. Um, most GPs have that facility with them. And what that does is that freezes the skin and then it comes off in the scab and it heals very nicely. Although you have to be careful if you've got darker skin or skin that pigments fairly easily, I would perhaps avoid that or not use that by itself, but use it in conjunction with something like the blending bleaching cream. So in a nutshell, that's how you can improve your sunspots and I hope that's been of some use.